Hi, it's Andy again, and today I have a tutorial where I uh, made a quiz app where we have to save the user's input and recall that input on another activity. So we actually have to write a file to the internal storage and uh, recall that file and read it. So this is a very simple layout. I could have made it a little bit neater, um, but it's functional. Uh, what it is, it's a quiz. It's got five questions to it and then um, you submit the quiz and it launches up to another activity that scores it. So the way that this works is so uh, user goes through the questions answers them so this one the answer is actually Richmond Virginia and they all played spice oh, and the actual writing to the file happens on the submit answer uh, I'll show you a way to do it where you don't, where you don't need a button, where you can just do it on the each individual one of these. But you have to set, you have to call all three buttons and um, uh, set the same on-click listener for all of them. Uh, what I did is I just said, search for the one that's right. If it's if that one's not selected, then uh, the answer is wrong. All right, so we go through the quiz. Now, if you noticed before, I had one wrong, and that was the first question, and now I have that right. All of these actually will change according to whether or not you have the right answer or not. So if you want to take this quiz, uh, you know, and play with it and see what you score, um, have at it. So how did I do this? All right, so we have this quiz app. I have <clears throat> uh, five question fragments. A main activity, a fragment adapter for the view pager, a scoring activity, and then a, a, a fragment with a button on it to launch the score activity. So let's go up, open up the main activity. All it is is it's setting up the view pager and the view pager indicator. So if we lo load up our um, our main layout, it's our view pager indicator and our view pager and that's what you see when you launch up the app sorry when you go here okay, if I go back so this is the view pager which is down below and then the view pager indicator is up here on top so I'm using a support library for this uh, so if you want to run it you're gonna actually need to get this uh, view pager indicator library and uh, link that as part of your uh, libraries and your properties right here okay so each of the questions are laid out where you have um, text view which is the question a radio group and each radio button and they're all clickable and then uh, each uh, question and here's where the, the key is to the, how this works. I have the correct answer. I'm just notifying that button. We want to get it and give it a name because we're going to also have this other button, which is actually going to be using shared preferences, which is what's going to write the file. Um, the best way to do this is actually using preference manager and using the get default shared preferences. But there's other ways to do this where you can actually specify the file name that you want to save it to should you want multiple file names um, for your app but I, I'm just using getting the I get the default shared preferences file so it, it makes it as simple as can be um, so once we click on the button at the bottom to save the to submit the answer it edits that file and uh, we want to give it an integer, so part, put an int. And if it's the right answer, we want to give it a value of 1. And if it's wrong, we want to give it a value of 0. And so I did this for all five questions. And then once you uh, launch the score, what this does, it sets up, um, you know, we want to get um, these are text views, so correct or incorrect. That's what these uh, 
Q1 score, Q2 score. That's what that is. And then the final score is another text view where I have where it does, um, you know, you got one out of five, two out of five, three out of five, correct. Now we need to get that file. Um, so we just put the same exact code that we did in the other one. The difference is that since this is an activity, we're going to use this because you need to get the context. Where in the other one, since it's a fragment, we're using get activity since that's the context. So since the score is an activity and it's in and of itself, we can use this. Um, next, we want to specify each of these ints, int, uh, integers. We get the um, we grab app preferences, which is what I've named the share preferences. We want to get the int, and this is important. You need to have the exact um, key that you give in um, in your in your question. So this answer value it has to be exactly the same, or else it won't work. It will just put out the default value, which is zero, which would be an incorrect answer in this case. So then we have uh, for each of the uh, of the integers or for each question, we want to either set the text as correct or incorrect. So we get the int, the integer. If it's one, it's correct. If it's not or anything else other than one, it's incorrect. So we do that for all five questions, and then to get the final score, you I have this uh, integer which adds up all uh, five of the question integers and then we have a, a text view where we're going to say we want to set the text to this integer plus out of five so if this ends up being one zero one 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 that'll be four out of five uh, and so on so other than that that's pretty much it to this uh, to this if you want to know how to launch an activity from uh, a fragment, uh, I covered that in my, um, I think, two videos ago. But it's real easy. Just if you're launching an activity, you want to use an intent. If you're replacing a fragment, you use Fragment Manager slash um, uh, friend, Fragment Transaction to swap out fragments. But uh, this is a new activity, so we need to use an intent to do that. Okay, so. I'll be loading up the source code for this. If you have any questions on shared preferences, please let me know. And there's other ways to do this. This is not the end all be all. There's shared preferences. We can write a text file to internal or external storage. Um, we can create a database, uh, a SQLite database, uh, XML database, any kind of database pretty much, and then parse that database for the information. I figured that for this, concept this is probably the easiest way to do it now if we wanted to get rid of the button uh, because something has to happen in order for us to use shared preferences we can't just click on the on the radio button uh, and that and have that set the shared preferences we need some kind of listener to to listen for the clicks and then have that uh, edit the shared preferences. So if we wanted to, um, you know, get eliminate the additional button that I added on the bottom, we can add all three radio buttons, give them the same on-click listener, and then for the on-click listener, we just do the exact same thing as we did here. Um, but for this example, I just decided to use a button. Uh, if you want me to show you example code of what I was just talking about with the three setting it to the same on click listener um, I'll be glad to do that okay so simple quiz app uh, you can try it out see don't look at the source code if you're going to try it out because that's obviously going to give away the answer I'll, uh, I'll upload um, a signed version of the APK as well if you want to try it first without uh, being tempted to look at the source code alright have a good day